gonna go and read the propaganda that came along with this thing again when I get back because I, I definitely got the impression that if there was no breeze there'd be like this barrier around me created by this thermocell I hope it's not one of these units that they've designed for somebody's backyard where they have four or five mosquitoes to deal with and of course this would chase those away not hundreds if not thousands like I'd have to deal in a place like this well what do you think so far I think you can tell from that video that I was less than impressed with my first test of that equipment and I was very happy that I didn't take it out on some hike and try and rely on it because I was less than impressed with how it performed but I figure I'll make some changes this time around the conditions under which I'm testing it are as near to dead calm as I could possibly arrange and believe me I've been waiting a while to retest this equipment but remarkably as you might imagine it is very difficult to find dead calm conditions in order to test this piece of equipment out I think you can find dead calm no wind conditions about as often as you're going to get hurricane wind conditions so already I have a feeling that I'm going to be challenged in using this product but I just wanted to see if I if I set it up in ideal conditions would it impress me so that's why we're back out today we're getting close to the evening mosquito hour so I think we're going to have a pretty decent crop of mosquitoes to test this with for sure. Now if you haven't bought one of these units yet and you're looking at review videos here on YouTube you have probably already noticed that there are a lot of reviews that recommend that you get one of these products and say that it works really really well and that's what's happened to me. I watched these reviews and saw quite a number of YouTubers give it the thumbs up and recommend it saying that it worked really really well that's why I ended up buying the unit but as I've already said I'm less than impressed with the results I've seen so far but to anticipate some of the suggestions that you guys might give me I went out and I bought a refill for the unit for this particular test just to make sure that the insecticide in those little blue pads is as fresh as I could possibly get it maybe the unit I bought from the store I bought it from was old stock so I've made sure that for this particular test I've replaced the pad from the first test with a brand new fresh insecticide pad so there's no doubt that this stuff is at its peak for performance no doubt man these things are finding me quick also you can see from the trees in the parking lot that there is very little wind but still I'm walking deep into the conservation area on these trails to make sure that I get into a nice secluded bushy area to test this out I'm not in the wide open and that will give the insecticide a chance to build up and build that protection zone that they advertise on their website around a 15 by 15 foot area. It should be 98% effective in this kind of conditions to keep that area almost completely clear of mosquitoes. I'm really looking forward to that being true. Okay, so you finally arrive at your campsite. It's late in the afternoon or early evening and you know the mosquitoes are going to be thick. So what are you going to do? Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off my pack 
and I'm immediately going to get out my Thermosel mosquito repellent product because I know I have to get that started and it has to run for as much as 30 minutes before it creates this zone of protection around my campsite. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll turn it on. Check to make sure it's lit. And it is. Okay, good. So I'm going to leave this on this rock and I'm going to let it heat up and start moving the mosquitoes out of this area. But you and I are going to move to another area of the forest because I decided to make this review a little bit more interesting and make it a challenge. And we're going to move just outside of the zone of protection that this thermocell is going to give me and try another product. Now we'll just get this out of my pack here. And this, if you uh, don't recognize it right off, is an off clip-on personal mosquito repellent unit. This one has a different uh, named insecticide but um, based on the same formulation as the thermocell. just has a different name. And this one operates instead of with a butane cartridge, a AA battery that operates a fan down here at the bottom and circulates the mosquito repellent around my body. And this one advertises to offer me protection head to toe from mosquitoes. And it doesn't require a lengthy startup time. It should start working right away. So let's see what happens here. As you can see, I'm covered in mosquitoes. I'm certainly not ready to take off the mosquito net just yet. But let's give this a chance to build up in the area here a little bit and we'll bring you back in a few minutes. Well, it's been about a minute that it's been running and I'm not really noticing any reduction in mosquitoes so far. But we'll uh, keep it going while our thermostat is heating up. Okay, and finally what I decided to do while we're waiting for our other two items to work their magic, I decided to light some mosquito coils. Well, in this case, they're mosquito sticks. They're much larger versions of mosquito coils, but exactly the same substance and exactly the same pesticide that we're all familiar with that we've been burning since we were kids around picnic tables and patios and even inside of cottages, of course with the windows open, to kill mosquitoes. So I've lit a few of these in a completely different area and we'll come back and see what the mosquitoes are like. Because that is a much more inexpensive way to fight mosquitoes if you're in dead calm conditions like we are here. So as you can see from the smoke, that's about as calm as you're ever going to find in an outdoor environment. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes. And that has given our thermocell plenty of time to do its thing, so we're just going to move back into the zone of protection that it should be creating over here and see what the mosquitoes are like. It's definitely still running and doing its thing, and there are wisps of smoke coming off of the pad right here now. Well, let's show you my pants. I think I'm going to have to say 
that there is a noticeable improvement in the number of mosquitoes that are bothering me in this location. And there certainly is a noticeable improvement for this test compared to the one that you saw at the beginning of this video. There are still plenty of mosquitoes <laughs> well within the 15 by 15 foot zone of protection. And you can see the thermocell right here, very close to me. But as you can see by my hands, now that it's working, there aren't any mosquitoes trying to bite me. And there aren't any on my pant legs at all. But I can definitely say with all confidence that in these conditions, the number of mosquitoes that are bothering me at this location have diminished considerably. As you can see from the video, they're certainly not gone. but there aren't thousands. It's not enough of an improvement that I would recommend that you get this product, but I definitely wanted you to see the evidence for yourself. The only time this unit is going to be this effective is when there is absolutely no wind or you're in a semi-enclosed environment where the, the insecticide gets a chance to build up and drive the mosquitoes away. So, let's move over to our off personal protection unit and see how it does in comparison. That's certainly long enough for the juices to get flowing. I think you can hear that. But, let's show you my hands and knees. I actually can say right away that I'm not noticing any difference whatsoever in the number of mosquitoes that would be pestering me in this, in this particular location. There's still quite a few. <clears throat> I'm certainly going to have to give the off clip-on personal mosquito repellent protection unit thumbs down. It's doing absolutely nothing to keep the mosquitoes away from me. Now I'm not going to quote prices for those two particular units because it's going to be different depending on where you are in the world watching this video, but they are certainly a lot more expensive than good old mosquito sticks. So let's head over there and see what the mosquitoes are like in that spot. Now the idea with these mosquito sticks is you would set up a perimeter of them around your campsite, preferably upwind if there's a little bit of a breeze and let the smoke blow through your campsite. So. I've set up three of them here as a little demonstration. So I'm right in the middle of the sticks here. And I'd have to say very quickly that they're about as effective as the off clip on, which is not very effective at all. I think I'd, I'd have to be practically sitting on top of these sticks with the smoke bathing my body in order to protect me at all from the mosquitoes. So certainly out of the three, the thermocell wins the day. But after all this, I think what I'm going to say is that the best personal mosquito protection is a really good 
mosquito repellent that you put on your body like this one. This arm right here and hand is all protected. This one has nothing. Ow. Ow, ow. <sighs> this is off Botanicals Lemon Eucalyptus. And it's actually not lemon eucalyptus that's protecting me, but a chemist version of the same properties as lemon eucalyptus. But as you can plainly see, the arm and hand that is not protected is getting bit up quite a bit. And the hand that has protection, nothing. Still going? Yep, still going. Still going? Yep, still going. So what's the final result? What's my final answer after all this? Well, I'm a backpacker, so I have to travel light. And the gear that I carry with me has to be really good in order to take up space and add weight to my pack. So if you're a backpacker, my advice to you is going to be stay in your bug shelter, put on your bug repellent, and just stay there until the temperature drops low enough that the mosquitoes go away. And then get out and enjoy your campfire. And leave these kind of items for car campers and backyard patio enthusiasts. Once again, thank you very much for spending time with me. Thanks for watching the Econo Challenge. And I look forward to seeing what you have to say in the comments down below. Bye for now.